Have you ever heard of accelerators? Accelerators can accelerate the particles, like electrons, to speeds incredibly close to the speed of light. But why would we want to do that? When electrons collide at these extreme speeds in linear accelerators, they create new particles. Circular accelerators, on the other hand, produce X-rays through synchrotron radiation. These X-rays are incredibly useful. They let scientists study on molecules, proteins and even nanotechnology. But here's the catch. The same radiation makes synchrotron radiation valuable, also drains energy from electrons, making it hard to reach higher speeds. In circular systems, electrons lose more energy with every turn. The faster they go, the more energy they lose. This is the challenge of synchrotron radiation. Linear accelerators avoid this problem. Electrons move in a straight path. No bending, no wasted energy. New designs like energy recovery Linux even reclaim some of the power. So, what if we combine both? First, electrons gain initial speed in spiral section. Then, before it loses growth to high, they transfer into a linear ERL for recovery and a final acceleration boost. Results? Less energy loss, higher speed, and a greater chance to uncover the unknown. Thanks for watching.